Tessie Begley, Mary Fennell, Eno O'Shea, um, Heather Power. So there, was, there, there was quite, there was quite a, quite a. I'm probably forgetting an awful lot of people. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> well, now, um, apart, apart from that, now, uh, last year you were All Ireland champion as well. What, what does it mean to you to be a double All Ireland champion? Well, I suppose it's a, it's a great, it's a great honour to be an All Ireland champion. It's, um, I never dreamt I'd have an All Ireland Cup. Never mind two. So, it's something to look back on. How sweet is it to actually do it here? in the old home territory here at the Pike? Well, I think at home in your own territory, there's more pressure on you, and especially trying to you know, get the title back again from last year. There is, there's a lot of pressure on you, all right. I was very nervous going out today, but thanks be to God, the nerves are gone now. Well, I think the people around us here would like to congratulate you on being the double All-Ireland champion. Can we have a round of applause for their people? Yay! Lovely. So there we are. To Anna Darcy, the 1984 and 1983 All-Ireland Champion, we'd like to thank her for speaking to us, and we'll be seeing her later on in the day again. Thank you. to the one of the main races of the afternoon. We have all the All-Ireland champions here. We have Ray Darcy, Tim Barry, Billy Power, Lara Aher, and Morris Kiley. And all these now are gathering at the start for the race of champion to see who is, in fact, the real All-Ireland champion here at the 1984 All-Ireland Hot Rod Championships here at the Pike Dungarvan. You can see what a fine lump of and scrap machinery of all different types, Volkswagens, we can look back a little bit and we can see 127s, uh, a real variety of 127s at the back of the field. And uh, we will just give you a rundown on who we have at the moment. Number 219 out there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it is in fact a consolation one and two, and I was offside of there for a moment. And we can look at him hearing down into the four spender, and you can see all the one, two, sevens that are there. And uh, oh, havoc right away down the bottom bend, you can see them all up on the ditch there, number 28 in the VW. And it's John Hegarty from Glanmire then that leads it in the VW. That's 219. Oh dear me, look at that A horrific tumble over down there. Horrific tumbling down there from the 127. Well, what an exciting uh, race we were looking at then, and in fact, I'd like to apologize for calling the wrong race. We were informed by the PA that um, the race of champions was coming up, and in fact, the race of champions is coming up. It is not the race that we were just seeing, and in fact, what a marvelous race that was. And uh, over the far end of the track, we saw a spectacular tumble over there by John English. But now we're coming back to have a rerun of the Consolation All-Ireland. And uh, we'll just give you a rundown on exactly who we have. Number 219 there is John Hegarty from Glanmire. Number 500 alongside of him is John McInerney. 142 is Michael Reardon. 
nearest to us. Then we look back to the second row of the grid to number 60. And number 60 is Billy Morrissey. Behind Billy Morrissey then we go back to all the 127s. 192 is Anthony O'Brien. Number 30 is Mike Healy. Number 208 is Frank Corbett. The green then, number 189, is Jerry Tobin. Number three then, a really good car that we saw winning the Ladies All-Ireland Champion being driven by Anna Darcy, that's John Darcy. Behind then is number 303, that's Pat Shanahan. Number 222 is Mick O'Shea. And finally then, we have number 53 is Eamon Tarrant from Bohor Bu. And that's the lineup here for the Consolation all the drivers. And it won't be too long before they're on the way then in the Consolation 1 and 2. And here we go. Checkered flags drop. John Darcy got an amazing run up the inside. Darcy got an amazing run up into third place right away but the leader is number 219 that's Joe Hegarty but Darcy now moves up on the inside and that's Darcy in the 127 really flying up a magnificent start by him oh wonderful driving and he comes into the straight completing lap one in the lead from 219 that's Joe Hegarty behind Joe Hegarty then comes number 500 that's John McHenry from Limerick and we look at them as they make the way down with Darcy in the commanding lead. We look at all the 127s trying to get around the bottom bend. And they all manage to get around that treacherous bottom bend, okay. But here comes the race leader and what a commanding lead he has, completing lap two. And we look at the bottom bend again to see if any action happened as it did previously, but no. But Darcy in a commanding lead from that man number 219 in the VW, that's John Hegarty. Hegarty has been followed, and that bottom bend, oh, 189 out of it there. Oh, carnage over there, that's Jerry Tobin. Jerry Tobin getting knocked out of it over there in the green, 127. In the meantime, Darcy has gone clear, and we look at the back markers as they make their way right-handed down the bottom end of the bend. Oh, and you can see it again. Oh, dear me, look at that. Number 208, another, another one in trouble there. That was Frank Corbett doing, nearly doing, nearly doing a small tumble over there, but he seems to be okay. <laughs> Well, Darcy has gone clear. He's the best part of a half a lap up now at this stage. Then we look back at the man in second place, is number 219. That's John Hegarty from Glanmire. But racing up behind him then, we have a gaggle of cars trying to get in. And look at this little 127, trying to snake up on the in... Taken up on the inside there was number 30. That's Mick Healy. Mick Healy up in the fourth place then. Anthony O'Brien then in third place but here's our leader as we look at him coming into the home straight Joe Hegarty now under pressure there in second place from number 192, O'Brien. That's Anthony O'Brien, and 30 is making up great ground also. That's Mick Healy. These three now dicing for second, third, and fourth position. 30 is the one that's coming strong there. Healy. Not between them. And oh, dear me. Look at oh, Oh. That's Anthony O'Brien after getting stoved in there, and he's back in the race. But all chances are gone for him now. That's our leader, and we look back then at the VW of number 219. That's Joe Hegarty. He's been challenged now by number 30. That's Mick Healy from East Cork, and here comes the East Cork man up on the inside in the red 127. But our leader, and we look back up at the top end. These, 
are dicing for second and third place. 219 is Joe Hegarty. Number 30 then. Number 30 is Mick Healy. Mick Healy. Mick Healy challenging strong now for the second place. Let's see 219. That's Joe Hegarty in the yellow Volkswagen. Joe in the yellow. Mick Healy in the all red. The leader has flown. He's a half a lap up. Let's look at the second and third as they come into the home straight. Down past us they come, underneath us. 219, that's him there, Joe Hegarty from Glanmire. And up on the outside of him this time comes number 30. And driving a great race, Healy. Healy thinks he can make it on the outside, but he decides to go, come back in again on the inside. But uh, he, Hegarty is driving a good race in second and third. That's our leader. He's a long, long way ahead now of these two that we look up the top end to see. That's Hegarty in the Volkswagen. Healy in the 127. That's the race we're looking at for second and third, over the far end of the track, racing right-handed now, and here he comes with another challenge. Healy in the 127, and this time he looks as if he's getting ahead, and there he goes. That's 30, Mick Healy from East Cork takes it up. Only just from the man who held second for so long, that's 219, Joe Hegarty in the VW. Anthony O'Brien then is coming up to try and get back into the race in fourth position after getting terrible trouble earlier on. But here's our leader, and he is a long, long way ahead at this stage. Another Darcy win here on the cards. And here's the race now for second and third place. And look at that number 192, Anthony O'Brien coming. He's really coming strong up in the, up in the fourth position. So now another challenger for Hegarty this time. And it's 192 that's in it and it's in the form of Anthony O'Brien. That's the dice for third, fourth and fifth position. The man in second place is just coming into the straight. That's number 30. That's Mick Healy from East Cork. And up onto the bank there goes the Volkswagen of number 60. So Billy Morrissey still trying to trying to chase in, uh, taking the last lap mark this time. That's our leader, number three. So it's Darcy then coming to win another one. Oh, and horrific stuff over the far side. Look at this over here. Oh, 219 there in terrible trouble. Hegarty in trouble, and that left 192. That's Anthony O'Brien to get back into it with number 60 coming in strong. That's Billy Morrissey. And Darcy is in trouble. Darcy in terrible trouble, but he takes the checkered flag. So John Darcy it is then who wins it. John Darcy is winning. Number 30 then in second place, Mick Healy. And here in to third place comes an excellent drive there by number 192 that's Anthony O'Brien from Limerick that's the one two three in our humble opinion here in another grief stricken race another Darcy comes along and wins the consolation one and two all Ireland the win then for number three that was John Darcy another win for the Waterford Club well here he comes in with a checker flag in his hand he's decided maybe to uh, to give a little bit of information and a push star. Well, no, that's nice, isn't it, to see the All-Ireland champion. Uh, giving a little quick push, starting her up. And uh, now we have the victorious winner then of the Constellation 1 and 2. From the Waterford local club, number three, that's John Darcy. Getting a well-deserved round of applause and a really good and exciting winner and a grief-laden race, oh, all sorts of problems. But there he is. That's number three, John Darcy. His wife, having previously won the last race, another double All-Ireland champion, and what a day it is for all the Darcys here in their own local track here at the Pike in Dungarvan. What a marvellous afternoon it is for the family as we look down the bottom right-hander there, that treacherous bend where so many drivers have come to grief here this afternoon. But uh, not Darcy in that one. He had a splendid race. Coming from the grid, he was 
quite a, quite a way back where he shot up within a matter of a half a lap and he was in the lead as they came round into the home straight on the first lap. So it was a marvellous win by him and behind him then we had all those terrible problems. And of course we won't forget 136 John English from Tipperary. He had a tumble over there which caused the race to be stopped and that meant gave a, a bit of an advantage here to this, the All-Ireland champion in the Constellation 1 and 2. That's him, number 3, John Darcy. Race here again, a big number of plus trees. Number 3 1 Horace Marie Field on inside of form, number 167, that's Eddie Malone. 54 of McKenabry and 103, that's Dennis McGrath from Tipperary. 2 2 9 long. Here is Richie Vistel, 3 4 9 Michael Sheehan, 62 is Billy Landy and Paul Vistel outside him. 64 is Mick Connors, number 180 is Dick Nugent, 15 is Tony Buckley. 97 is John Buckley and Paddy Gale and the escort just behind him. We are nearly ready at this stage to get the thing sorted out. Our start off sitting down on his little rostrum this time. We have a blue flag grab. Can we have blue flags, lads? Can we have blue flags just to make sure? Are the flagmen are ready, yes. We have got blue flags on the course, Marshal. We're just waiting for the signal. Track is clear, Tom. Whenever you're ready, we're ready. And away we go. First time and Eddie Malone and Money Field of Valley Valley. That's the way our goes in us for they tell me it's Billy Thorpe and back his head there, I could see a little bit more. Up on the roof below, as I got the first car, and we were red flags straight away. Red flags straight away, put it up, put up the red flags and keep it over right on the roof into the first car. We're going to win very, very fast this time, and we'll have to... A quick look at the cars in the All-Ireland Constellation, Class 3, 4 and 5. And uh, we've had uh, one start of this, this is a restart, more havoc down the bottom side of the track. And this, in fact, is sponsored by Snow Cream Dairies, and we would indeed like to thank Aidan Dempsey for... I know he's here with us today as well, and we'd like to thank him for sponsoring this particular race that we're now going to look at. The blue flags are being called for, and we'll hand over to our track commentator for this next race. Everybody else okay on the staff line? Everybody else okay on the staff line? So you can hear Pat Power then calling everybody okay on the starting line. I think blue flags are up and we're just about ready to go for the snow, snow cream, consolation, three, four and five, all in. Until the staff line. Yes, we've got blues all round. Like it's here for racing and we're nearly ready to go at this stage. And away we go. John Buckley from Glenmire, that was spotted in the middle of the flyer, Simon. He did very fast in the uplift, and they're into that bottom corner, as number 97, Glenmire man, John Buckley. He's followed by Fossey 4, that's Mick Henry, 103 to the Tipperary, and I'm trying to make it up on the outside, make up a bit of ground, but it's Michael Sheehan, doing exceptionally well, Michael Sheehan, number 349. 229, which he was still last, and trying to make up a bit of ground. But it's 97, that's John Buckley from Glenmire, being followed now by Michael Sheehan, and Fossey 4, and Mick Henry. Number 97 down the south side is John Buckley. There's somebody got up onto the bank here trying to get their way here after the fight. But it's 97, John Buckley from Glenmire from 349, that's Michael Sheehan. 229 is Richie Vistel, 54 is Mick Hennebury. And a lot of the chaos trying to stop himself. There's Billy Lenny from the wrong way around the other bottom corner. That's where we have a yellow flag. Yes, we have a yellow flag, we have a yellow flag, and Billy Lenny, top of the town, says out. Billy Lenny, well enough to strike, wherever he is, okay. Well enough to strike, it's Billy Lenny at this stage. And it's still the 1-7, John Buckley, from 3-4-9, that's Michael Sheehan. Just behind him on his tail is 2-2-9, that's Richie Vistel, from 4 is Mick Hennepin. Number 15 is Johnny Buckley, making up a bit of ground, also on the fight, and one of them. It's number 97, that's John Buckley, still in the lead. Number 15 is Richie Vistel, from 4 is Mick Hennepin, and number 97, still John Buckley, from Denver, holding on to that lead, from in that second position. In second position is still 349, that's Michael Sheehan. Up to 29, that's Richie Vistel. 
In the top division is 55, Mick Callas Van Lerig. In fourth division, 186, Tom Fischel. In fifth position is Paul Fischel. And after this one, we have the champion of champions race. Final race of the 1984 All-Ireland Champions. The, this championship has been really a mighty affair. We've had some marvellous winners, and the main race for them, having won their All-Ireland, the runners-up and the thirds have now come to do battle for the race of champions. And what a marvellous afternoon it's been with well over 5,000 people here this afternoon at the Pike in Dungarvan. The wonderful backdrop of the Cumbria Mountains and the magnificent setting here really blends itself to a magnificent afternoon sport and everybody here has thoroughly enjoyed themselves here at the Pike this afternoon. And it's also congratulations to the Waterford Club for the magnificent job that they've done. We've seen the Class 2, the standard Volkswagens, over the far side of the track, handicapped that far from the Class 2s, the Class 1s, that's the 127s. Then we move back then to the Class 3s and 4s, and finally at the back is the Class 5s. So, the, they're looking for the blue flags up all around now for the final race here of the afternoon. The All-Ireland uh, winners this afternoon, we'll just give you a rundown on who they were. The Class 1 was won by Ray Darcy. The Class 2 by Jim Barry from Glanmire, Billy Power, La Raher and Morris Kiley. Those are the five All-Ireland champions and now they're off and running. And we look at them as they try to make ground. Canis Nolan in a little bit of trouble up there. And Kiley in big trouble. Oh dear me, Morris Kiley out of the race. The Class 5 champion is gone. And look at him trying to get over the tyres over there. In the meantime, we look at the leaders of the race. <laughs> 218 it is that leads it. That's Tim Barry, the leader. Tim Barry from Pat Power. And then comes Ray Darcy. Behind Ray Darcy then trying to get after him. It's number 545. Pat Kennedy also trying to make up ground, but these are a good way back at this stage. This is our leader coming into the home straight now. That's Tim Barry. Tim Barry in the VW, being closely followed then by number four. That's Pat Power. Behind them, Ray Darcy making up ground. 345 Billy Powers in there. They're starting to bunch up now as they race down the bottom right hander. It's number 218, that's him in the lead. That's Tim Barry from Glanmire leading the race as the rest of them try to get after him. This is the race of champions in a big way and the first six are starting to tighten up now. Four goes very wide, that's Pat Power. Up on the inside shoots Ray Darcy. In behind him then comes number 345 is Billy Power. And behind Billy Power making up marvellous ground is also La Raher in 298. Number four dropping out of it now, Pat Power, as the 127 makes up good ground as well over there is number 290. That's Morris Lenahan. We look over the far end of the track and here comes Darcy with a, de a determined challenge now. It's 280 and look at him really closing up, also going extremely well. Is La Raher in third place now. Down into the bottom bend they race. It's Tim Barry, only just the leader from Ray Darcy. Then comes Billy Power. On the outside, on the inside, making up good ground is La Raher. Here we have La Raher shooting up into second place and going like, oh, a marvellous piece of driving from him. Superb stuff as he races and rounds up the top hill. Can he get it round? No, he goes too wide. And back into the lead comes Tim Barry. But on the outside still, oh! And oh, dear me, terrible. Nearly havoc down there. And he's gone, yes, he's gone, La Raher. Oh, dear me, that was La Raher and Morris Lenehan. La Raher, Morris Lenehan, belting into each other, and that gives the advantage to Ray Darcy. It's Ray Darcy now. From that man over the far side is number 345, Billy Power. The All-Ireland champion in Class 3 is into second place, being followed by number 280, Tim Barry in third. And look at Ray Darcy go, that's the leader from Billy Power. Pat Kennedy is trying to make up ground behind these in fourth position. Then comes Canis Nolan. Then comes Pat Power over the far end of the track. We look, this is our two leaders. That's Ray Darcy, the local man. 
What a day it's been for the Darcy's. Can he hang on out there in the lead? But the challenge is coming out from Billy Power, another Waterford driver. And these two have gone some way ahead now of number 218. That's Tim Barry from the Glanmire Club. As they race right-handed down to pass that treacherous spin down there. Red Darcy. And here comes the challenge now from Billy Power. It's Billy Power and Darcy. A magnificent.